Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to easily convert a Word file into an PDF format on your laptop. It's very easy and simple. So, let's get started. First things first. We'll begin by opening the Word file that we want to convert. In this video, I'm using a sample Word file to demonstrate the process. Take a moment to locate the Word file on your laptop. Then open it to ensure it's the correct document you want to convert. Once you've confirmed it's the right file, go ahead and close it for now. Next, let's move on to the software that will make this conversion possible. We'll be using an app called Swift. Do PDF which is incredibly user-friendly and packed with features that can help you handle Word in various ways. If you don't have this app installed yet, don't worry. I've included a download link in the description below. Feel free to click on that link. Download and install the app on your laptop before we proceed. Once you've opened the Swift Do PDF app, you'll notice a range of options available on the interface. To convert your Word file to PDF, you need to click on the PDF to Word button. But don't worry you're not doing wrong. You are in the right place. After clicking PDF to Word, you'll be given additional options at the left side of the format. You will see many options about converting file. But you will not see Word to PDF convert option. But don't worry. Here's a trick. You will see an option at the bottom that says More Features. Simply click on it. Here, you'll see multiple options. From these, select Convert to PDF option. Once you are there, you will see multiple converting options at the left side. From these, click on the first option that says Office to PDF. Simply select this option. Once you select it, it's time to import your MS Word file into the app. You have two ways to do this. The first option is to simply drag and drop your Word file into the app, which is quick and easy. Alternatively, you can manually add your files by clicking on the Add Files button. This will open up your file explorer, allowing you to navigate to the location of your Word document and select it for conversion. With your Word file imported, you can now choose where you want the converted PDF file to be saved. This is known as the output path. To set this, click on the three horizontal dots that is near to the output path option. When you click on it, a window will pop up, allowing you to browse through your folders and choose the location that best suits your needs. Once you've found the perfect spot, select it and click OK. This ensures that your new PDF file will be saved exactly where you want it. If at any point you change your mind and want to remove the Word file you imported, you can do that easily. Just click on the Clear List button, and then click on the OK to confirm. Or you can also remove the Word file by clicking on the cross icon near to the Word file. After click on it, the selected file will be taken out of the queue. This feature is handy if you're working with multiple files and want to keep things organized. The Swift Do PDF app also allows you to fine-tune various settings for your conversion. By clicking on the Settings button, you can access a range of options. Take a moment to review these settings and make any changes if necessary. Now that everything is set up, it's time to start the conversion. When you're ready, Go ahead and click the Start button at the bottom. And the app will begin converting your Word document into an PDF file. This process typically only takes a few moments. So sit back and let the app work its magic. Once the conversion is complete, you have a few options. If you want to open the newly created PDF file immediately, simply click on the Open File button. Alternatively, if you want to view the file's location in your File Explorer, click on the Open Location button. You can also delete it using the respective U buttons provided in the app. Let's go ahead and open the PDF file to see the results. To do this, open the File Explorer and go to the location where you saved the PDF file. In my case, 
I saved my PDF file in desktop. So, I go to the My Desktop. As you can see here, the Word document has been successfully converted into an PDF file. This is a powerful way to manipulate and analyze data that was previously locked in a PDF format. And there you have it. Your PDF file is ready to use. And that's it. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and tricks. Don't forget, the download link for the Swift Do PDF app is in the description below, so check it out if you're interested in exploring more of its features. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.